2004 Cadillac Escalade. Of course, it's been a good vehicle to me. This one is a 2004 model, uh, so it's been around for quite a while. One of the things I want to zoom in on is if you look behind the windshield there, you can see where the roof liner is falling. Well, that happens to be a common problem in most older vehicles today. One of the things I want to show you is a simple, quick fix for that. A good product that I found on the market, of course, is the 3M Super 77. This is a multi-purpose adhesive. This works very well on the roof liner on a Calic Escalade and most of your American models because it's more of a fabric roof liner. Now, if you go to a Volvo or if you go to some of the other cars, it won't work. Different type of roof liner, you put this on, only sticks for three or four days and it falls right down. But I'm gonna show you how Super 77 here helped me to save my roof liner. Okay, so the first thing I will tell you, make sure you have something to protect your eyes when you're using this. Of course, once you start to spray, this tends to go a little bit of everywhere, just like any sprayer does or any can of spray does. Uh, and once you're inside, so these fumes will continue to circulate throughout the vehicle. So one of the things I did was, no, I'm not protecting myself because of the pandemic. I'm simply using a face shield to cover my eyes as I begin to spray this. All right, so as you can see on my roof liner here, it's already beginning to hang. So you don't have to tear it down. You don't have to pull it back. All you have to do is just stop the portion from here from peeling on back. Now, if I leave it like this with the wind coming in with the windows down, it'll continue to peel all the way back. And the next thing you know, you got a problem that goes all the way to the rear. So you can grab your 3M product. Don't spray the fabric. So all you're going to do is just spray the roof itself. There again, do not spray the inside, inside of the fabric. So let me just peel this back a little bit more. Good shake of the bottle. Okay, so all I have to do now, don't grab this part and push it up. Just grab something and just wave it up very lightly. Because when you push it, it tends to have the heat adhesive to come through the fabric. And the next thing you know, you have it on your hands. It's quite sticky. You can't get the fabrics from your hand. So as you can see, I have the tissue I just used to clean the windshield here. And I'm just going to wave it up. So just lightly touch your fabric to put it back into place. And voila. Get that extra adhesive off my uh, glass here. But if that's all I'm dealing with, I can deal with that rather than a roof liner. So that is in place. Now notice, got a little pocket over here it didn't get. So just slightly pull it back. And all you're going to do is take your bottle, spray it right up in that area. Don't worry about if you get anything on the outside of the fabric. Just lightly brush it. You don't want to brush it hard. You want to brush it very lightly. And there you go. It's all back into place and I don't have to worry about it starting continuing to peel or the whole roof liner falling. Now we're over on the driver's side here. As I mentioned before on the passenger side, just lightly peel your fabric. You don't want to peel it from the standpoint you're peeling it back for the part that hasn't separated just yet. So you just want to peel it back and you're going to spray underneath. You want to try to spray the roof and not the fabric, the back side of the fabric. So we're just going to spray underneath. Don't worry, you're not going to make a mess of things. You can always clean up what you sprayed. And take your cloth. As you can tell, I'm using a paper towel here. We're just going to lightly push it back into place. So that's all we're going to do. And I'm going to show you the finished product here. Uh, it's quite awesome. I've used it a time or two before and it worked perfectly. So that's how I know how to use it this time. There again, you don't want to use your finger because the uh, adhesive will come through the fabric because this is a very light fabric and it attaches to your finger. And the next thing you know, the fabric is attached to your finger as well. Okay, so you can see there, I'm going to get you a close up. So you can see what I mean. You can see where I pushed a little too hard, but don't worry, that will dry. You can see all the way across. So now it's attached. I'm going to show you the passenger side as well. 
So you can see that as well. So I can go ahead and remove my mask here. I didn't mean to scare you, but I did want to show you where 3M Super 77 works very well on your roof liner. You can see where I did it before. Of course, I was an amateur in doing that. When I tried to do it with my finger, I pressed a little too hard, but it sits perfectly. You don't see any disconnect or you don't see anything hanging, which is the same for the front as well. So there again, 3M Super 77 works very well for the um, roof liner of your vehicle. If you have an older vehicle, don't worry about getting your roof, roof liner removed and redone. Just use 3M77.